Good evening, Keith and Ashley. It was this dashes here on Colvin Boulevard in the town of Tonawanda that that most recent armed robbery happened earlier this morning. Actually happened around 6 o'clock this morning before the store was even open. And police believe it is the same man that is targeting all of these convenience store and gas stations. And tonight that suspect is still on the run. It's a string of armed robberies that has police working together in two counties to catch the man behind the mask. The primary goal of this person or persons uh, has been cash. Police say it was around 6 o'clock this morning. A white man wearing dark clothes and a ski mask entered the Dashes Market on Colvin Boulevard in the town of Tonawanda. He showed a cashier a gun and demanded cash. Police say after the clerk handed over the money, he took off. No one's been hurt and... You know, certainly let's hope that um, that this, this stops, that we don't have any further robberies. Police believe the man behind this brazen streak of crimes has hit 12 locations in the past three weeks. So far, we know 10 of the 12 locations. This map shows the timeline and area that this crime spree spans. On February 25th, police say he hit the quick fill on Military Road in the town of Tonawanda. On March 2nd, the Niagara County Sheriff's Office says he hit Maddie's in Wheatfield. March 3rd, an armed robbery was reported at the Sunoco on Transit and Robinson in Lockport. And again at the Sunoco on Porter and Packard in the town of Niagara. March 5th, quick fill at the Six Corners on Millersport in Amherst. March 7th, the Valero on Niagara Falls Boulevard. March 8th, the NOCO on Delaware in Kenmore. On March 11th, police say he targeted the Red Apple on Delaware in the town of Tonawanda and that same day hit the Sunoco on Niagara Falls Boulevard and Ellicott Creek. This is a, it's a pretty large area that, that we're talking about here. Uh, certainly <clears throat> when someone's moving from spot to spot, it, it ups the ante. Tano Tanawanda police tell me tonight they are actively working this investigation along with other law enforcement agencies in neighboring towns and villages. There is additional surveillance footage that has not yet been released to the public. I have asked for it, but right now it is not being made public because this is an ongoing investigation. Of course, once we receive that, we'll put that on our website, WKBW.com. We're live in the town of Tanawanda tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.